day three of Bloodstock 2022, and I'm here with Claps the Sky. So, welcome to the Raised the Edge. Thank you very much for having us. So for all our listeners, um, do you want to introduce yourselves and tell us about yourselves and the band? Yeah, sure. So, uh, I'm Lee, I'm the vocalist of Collapse the Sky. And I'm Luke, I'm the drummer. Excellent. So, you played the New Blood stage, I guess, earlier today? We certainly did. So, how was it at that for you? What was the show like? We had a fantastic time, didn't we? Yeah. It, was, it was just so good. We, we, re- we firmly believe in like um, feeding off each other's energy, so the crowd's energy and our energy just comes back ten times harder. So it was just it was just so good to experience that from a, from a festival standpoint. Yeah. yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. How big was the crowd in there for you? It's been some bands get more than others in that little stage. So oh, it, like? it was by far the biggest crowd we've played to. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't want to hazard a guess. I, I could see that they were filtering in. Yeah. Like the longer our set was going on, I think that whether people were just at Lemmy's bar or they were just kind of wandering by and they might just get a little bit curious about what's going yeah. on in there. So yeah, yeah. So did you come through Metal to the Masses this year? Were you one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came through the East Anglia um, uh, region. Yeah. And uh, so we were the we were the the winners, and then um, Acid Throne were our, were the runners up. Yeah. 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 So we're talking to the Acid Throne tomorrow as well. Oh, they're good oh, guys. Nice. Yeah. We, uh, I bumped into Chris earlier. He came by to sort of say hello. It's like, you know, Norwich lads sort of saying hello to each other and whatnot. They were really near the front as well for our set. Oh, were they? Yeah, oh, fantastic. The, yeah. The drama. yeah. So, so, so what's the scene like out there? Is it a good scene? Oh, so the, the, the Norwich scene? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, I think the, the, the best thing that I love about the Norwich scene is that there's so many talented musicians doing their own thing. So we're not, there's not like just a bunch of thrash metal bands or a bunch of death metal bands. Everyone is doing their own thing. And the, 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 the biggest way, uh, the, or the biggest example I can give is the Metal to the Masses final. Yeah. You had us, you had Acid Throne, you had a sort of grind, death metal band. Yeah. And uh, I think there was just like a more of a kind of proggy band. So it's just it's, good, it's, good the good vers- list, yeah. the versatility is there, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think that's the that's the best thing about yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Um, you, have you been here all weekend? We have. Oh, yeah. We have. We've been soaking in all of this uh, <laughs> insane heat. Um, yeah. Who, who have you seen this weekend? Who have you watched? Oh wow. Okay, we've seen a few bands. There uh, was Sleep Token. Yeah, Sleep Token really last good. night. Testament blew me away. Flawless. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Machine Head. Oh god. Yeah, Machine Head. Did you get in the tent for them? Did you? Yes. We got in the tent, but I was like, I was in the point where I was like, I don't want to go too far in because if I need to suddenly like gasp for air, I need to get out. I was like, I'm going to be yeah. trapped in this pit. It was a sad um, tent. Did you have any idea who the secret band were going to be before before you got in there? The only thing I saw, which was only a few days before, was this Facebook Live that Machine Head did. Yeah. And I think it went like wildfire for a couple of days, yeah. where they were like, oh, it's got to be them, because I think they said something on the Facebook yeah. Live. Uh, but other than that, no. I think it was just a bit of like, a few bands were thrown out there. Yeah. yeah. I, had, I had one inkling on... I forget what day it is. When did Necro Gobbler come? Like Thursday. Thursday. So me and Flynn were watching them. We were both just having a good time. And a guy walks past with a bit of an entourage. Me and Flynn sort of looked at each other like, I'm sure that was the machine head drummer. Yeah, I'd it, put money on it. He was in Lemmy's bar on Thursday yeah. night. So he's like, oh, the cat's out of the bag at this point. And, and then the sound like, guy, when they were checking for machine yeah. head, main vocals Rob Mike one two three Rob <laughs> oh, yeah there you go yeah, there you go yeah. there we go uh, they, uh, it's almost like they knew what they were doing yeah but you if, you, if you happen to walk past the merch store with yesterday afternoon early afternoon they were selling machine head t-shirts so it, does, uh, it doesn't and then there's the, yeah so there's stuff like that as well then so like it doesn't take much for people to put two and two together no, I guess absolutely. yeah but they, they were amazing oh, and, yeah. it was, and it was my birthday yesterday so I'm quite happy to watch Machine Head on my yeah, birthday that was a really good <laughs> set as well yeah it was fantastic That's, it's been great talking to you today and I, I, I hope you can build on this performance and oh, thank you take very it much. forward so. yeah no we hope to Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.theraisersedge.rocks.